So let's create our first project. To do that, you can go to File, click New, or you can go from here, far at the right, you can click Add. So in either way, you can create a project. You can select the Enterprise Project Structure. It's up to you. So we will maybe create the baseline for Project A. So this is our EPS. Click Next. Project ID. Let's have it. A for project A and BL for baseline. The project name, full project description, we can say project A baseline schedule. Click next. The plan to start date, when it will start. So let's keep this date. It's up to you, you know, you to determine the plan to start date. For the must finish by, we will come to that later when we speak about constraints and float so let's keep it right you can always modify it anytime you want so you can always go back and change the plan to start rate after you create the project click next and you can here assign responsibilities for example so for my project i want to assign project manager for this project for the whole project Inside the project, we will create WBS and activities, and we can there assign responsibilities for QC, site manager, etc. So we click next. You can always keep that by default. This is price per unit. We don't have different units, so we'll just keep it price per unit as default. And it will tell you, give you confirmation. Congratulations, your first project has been created now. So click finish. It has all the information we inserted. After you create the project, you can also have different uh, options. You can delete the project by right click, delete the project. You can also delete it from here. You can also have some options, extra options. You can have right click and you can copy the project and paste it for example you made a mistake and you want to copy this project into another eps project b you can do that by Control c and Control v like excel or right click and click copy you can also show customize the columns here the number of activities for example so you have a columns you click customize you have all list of data here duration cost for example uh, you can have date added. When did you add the project? Later on, we can use some of the tools here. When you, you work with many projects, so you want to know that which project you just created or you just added right now into the old list. So you can maybe use the column of date added. So the one you added today, for example, is the newest one. So you can have different options here. We'll come back to that later. But for now, this is all what you need to know about project creation. And in the next video, we will talk about some of the options here in the project window. So I will see you in the next video.